All right, let's look at convert to flow acting on some workflow rules. Let's take a look at the workflow rules that we're going to look at. We got a couple of them here. The first one is fairly simple. It's got an immediate action to update the owner field of triggering accounts. Uh, the accounts trigger when rating equals cold. There is also a 30 days after rule trigger data uh, that triggers on my task subject. And then, well, let's go, let's go, let's go convert that. So converted flows show up as flows. There, uh, nothing actually has changed about the workflow rule. So if the workflow rule is active and the newly created flow is active, keep in mind that it's going to be firing twice uh, every time that, uh, that record uh, event happens. Uh, so let's go here and select workflow one account and start the process. Now we basically are retrieving and we see we just retrieved the workflow rules metadata and there are no errors. So we will now convert it and deploy it. So let's go back to flow now and refresh the screen. And here's the converted workflow rule. Let's take a look. So the immediate actions show up here on the run immediately path. Uh, and that time triggered action has its own scheduled path. We can go in here and you can see that the uh, scheduled path shows up here. If we pop in here, you can see that uh, the fields are all set. Uh, and we're in business and we can hit activate uh, and run this. Let's try a more complicated example. We have a workflow rule here that has uh, two immediate actions, an email alert and a task. And the uh, triggering fill criteria is still account rating equals cold. And here we have after the 30 days after the account created date, we've got a couple of field updates. And one of these field updates uses a formula. So let's go convert that. All right, so let's refresh again and take a look. And here we are. And so here's the email alert. Here's the task. Uh, here are the two updates. We have a formula that's been created here. So that formula was taken from inside the workflow rules and a flow formula resource was was generated and then that's used and that's used right here to calculate uh, the value. And here we have uh, the email alert configuration is pretty simple. Uh, you can take a look here. There's another formula value that's been generated. Static values are all being preserved.